Well, we got him here safely. I'm going back to bed. It is now 2.24 in the morning. See you guys in a couple of hours. Good morning, modern steaders. Feels like we're waking up for a second time today. <laughs> it is chilly. Good morning, pigs. Didn't know if we'd be able to hear the new animals yet, but we can't. Do something. Yeah, I'll just toss it. Oh, right in your head. They always, no matter where you throw it, they always seem to find a way to walk under it. Oh, so it's not me. It's not you. You coming down and check out the new animals, Figaro? Hello. Hello. You boys sleeping? Chewing cuds, so that's a good sign. Yeah. Cold, huh? Was it a chilly night for you? I can tell you just got your ears tattooed. That one looks a lot like Magnolia. Yep. White on its head and everything. I'm gonna go milking. Hang out with them. Those boys drove 1,300 miles in 20 hours yesterday to get here. <laughs> I'm so glad they're here and they're safe and sound. And now we get to try out the new milk and rum this morning, guys. Let's get them a flake of hay out. Put it right here for now. Good morning. You girls making a mess in there already, huh? You making a mess? I like your hairdo. It's cute. Goodness. All right, well, we got you all without you babies. Come here. Up here. Come on. You gotta get up here. Up here. This is where you gotta go milking. Come up right here. even facing the opposite direction this morning milking, so that's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> She's such a fool right now today, guys. I don't think she likes the expanded scale on her feet of the milking stand. Good job. What are you going to do, fall over? Uh, what are you going to do? Ready to see your kiddos? There you go. Oh, wow. How are they doing in there? Checking things out a little bit. You checking everything out? Shut the door. Shut the door? What? What do you think you could put that metal hay freedom thing that you had? They're probably... In here for them? Yeah, I don't know. You had to check how wide the thing is. Yeah. Because they're a lot bigger than them. They are bigger than the other them. ones. They're awfully handsome. Look at you. Check it out. You see Figaro? Willow does not like all the change. 
No. Why? No. Who's she acting? Well, she doesn't like the milk and stand. We'll have to put the wooden one back in there today. She was acting all like she wouldn't stand straight. I think it's because she doesn't like the feeling of that metal on her feet. So instead of pushing it with all new stuff all at once, I'll put the old milk and stand back in for now and we'll see how that goes. Checking it out, Caleb. I can see for the other one. You see the girls over there? These are our breeding pair of bucks that we got from our friends Luann and Gary from Missouri. They have busy browser. I'll put a link down below to their farm website. These boys came 1,300 miles for us. They come from really good milking lines. We're excited to add them to our... We are excited. We're excited you guys are here, huh? I'm glad that you're checking things out. I know, it's nice seeing them running around climbing around and oh it's like give me that tree oh you're looking at the apples aren't you there yeah. caleb Maybe the pig. are the pigs <laughs> yeah you get a running start the golden boy's name is caleb and the other one is best man for best man we're looking for an everyday name best man is his show name they're both adga registered but we're going to be looking for a name for best man to call him so leave it in the comments down below we'd love to hear your feedback what did you say Zeke came to my mind. You like Zeke? Something. Zeke this popped into my head. Now you guys finally realize there's more goats over here? It took you a little while. Are they, all they were, but now they're back to eating. They're like, yeah, whatever. Is that some good hay? I'd be surprised if we had any predators come out last night where I was up and out here around 2 a.m. <laughs> I can hear Caleb and we'll call him Best Man for now <laughs> over there making a bunch of noise. Nope, that door's still open. Nothing's come back yet. I need to put some new handles on the chicken tractors. It's not fun trying to pull around the chicken tractor without a handle. Did that for a few days. Actually, one of you viewers sent these up last winter, I believe. Now I get to use them. That pipe feels nice on the old hand. Thank you who sent this up. Man, that feels good. No more rope burns. Out all the moss. It's it for animals for a little bit. It's it for animals for a little while. <laughs> We need to run out this morning and see what we can go find so we can make a couple of hay feeders for the goats. That needs to be priority today. Today is gonna be a coffee day, guys. Getting up at 1 a.m., <sighs> yep. Took a little bit out of me. I ain't 18 no more. I switched my coffee to free range coffee. Oh, guys, they have some good coffee. I like early morning bite in this morning. I need some of that to stay going. I'm going to have a link in the description down below if you guys want to check out their coffee and try some. It is an affiliate link, so if you guys purchase anything, you do help support us here at Lona Acres. So thank you. And if you try the coffee, let me know what you think. We are at our friendly tractor supply company. Let's see if they have what we need this morning.
didn't have what we were looking for. So I'm gonna have to change my design and go purchase some other wood material to make it out of now. It's a pain when you know what you want, but you can't find it anywhere. All right, I think I've redesigned it in my head on the way over and I know what we can use and Lowe's should stock it. This is what we're looking for, the material that they're using to sit as shelving. Don't know where you would buy that though. If you have an idea, leave it in the comments down below. We're gonna kind of imitate this hay feeder a little bit. I need to get some measurements off of it. I wanna know how far apart these slats are, and they are six. So I'm gonna go five. That's what we're gonna do, and then I'm also gonna mark the angle. I don't remember what the angle was. And then I want to know what the height is. That is 18 inches. So we could even go lower. We could go 15 inches. What are you boys doing, huh? You getting more used to us already? Calling for the girls? Hope you're ready to be the bucks this fall. Yeah, how you doing? Good boy. I'll bring you some treats later on. Find the right angle. Yep, 30 degrees. Let's go. 15 inch space. Short to long, 17 and a quarter. Two by fours. Nice looking ones right here. Inch and three quarter. You can buy the lumber already made to one and a half by one and a half, but if you do that, you're paying as much money for one two by four as you are for one one and a half by one and a half. So we got two for the price of one by ripping them ourselves. Take a little small handheld rotor with a quarter round rotor bit on it and just round over the edges that we cut so that way we don't have a sharp square edge. It'll look like a factory edge on a two by four. All right, so now we have nice round edges on all four sides. So when the goats stick their head past it, they won't get hurt. All right, so now cut an angle. Okay. 
I can slide it. See if we can slide this over. All the way to one side. And get 17 and a quarter. All right, oh, nope. Not right on the bottom, close. There go over two more inches. All right, let's try that. So this can be our stop. We go that's 16. That's a just out. Our slide to 17. Right there, 17 and a quarter. So now we should be able to batch these out pretty quickly. Okay. Try this one. I like it. All right, so let's cut a bunch of them. That should make us Quite a few feeders, I would think. All right, so now I want to go five inches. Put one here. Boom. And then. Our pocket hole Craig jig. Go inch and a half by inch and a half. This is gonna make us we can screw it at an angle a lot easier. This is something I first learned about back when I was making furniture for a furniture company. And man, it is amazing how strong. This screw hole can be. This one will go back here, like so. Boat. So we'll take this one and pull this one out. Last one. I'm trying to think of the best way to glue this without making a huge mess. I don't have any plywood or cardboard to put down first. But I think we do need to glue it because goats are very rough. So. Just put a dollop, do a dollop of glue. -hoo. If I get it on the floor, I'll have to clean it up. up. This one down here. I'll square it up. Oops. Something like that. Okay, something like 
That'll work. Perfect. I like that. We're using a two inch screw. it up and see how we did. Nice. This one's gonna be different by the way it falls. So we're flush there, flush there. I'm gonna go like this and then like this. Cut a couple of center braces in the top piece. Let's do two. Is that low enough for you kiddos? Or am I gonna have to make you a little step stool, huh? Do I gotta make you a step stool? Oh, is it a scratch and post willow? No, it's a pay feeder willow. <sighs> what do you think of that, kiddos? Oh, perfect height. Hey, Buttercup, I gave you eight feet of space. You can have like four holes if you want. You don't need to be pushy. My camera messed up, so I don't think we got it on footage, but little P had to hop in. Little P, really? You what the heck? I definitely need to put a roof on it now. I'm jumping on that girl, come on. I don't think so. Uh, I planned on putting a pitched roof and we're gonna have to do that anyways. Oh, little P. Gonna come out here and we're gonna have goats stuck. Let's see if little P tries to get in again. She's going to. She's not gonna stay down. Hey! What are you doing? I didn't make this feeder so you could get in it. I made this feeder to keep you out. Is she up in there, Hope? Oh. Able to get out. 
That'll keep you out anyways, Hope. Still got plenty of room. That's just temporary. I want to make... I'm going to make a slanted roof to shed the water. You want to have some zucchini boats for supper? Yes. All right. That's what we'll do then. I haven't had them for a while. Nope. Dig out the middle. I usually do this when I have a big huge zucchini, but then they take forever to cook. Normally this is my garbage bowl, but it's going to be used in the pulp inside of the zucchini boat mixture. So I'm going to throw the scrap in there. Never used the pulp in it before, so let's try and see if you like it that way. It has a small onion, so I'm going to do half of that. Okay, we're going to use our burger for farm foods. There'll be a link in the description below for 10% off if you're interested. And so I'm gonna brown my burger and then all my goodies I chopped up and put that inside my zucchini boat. And then bake them. So hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully they will be Olivia approved. Because life is so much easier if it's Olivia approved. <laughs> Cut up a little bit and then I'll add my veggies in there. I actually just cut up another zucchini because this is way more, too much filling for one. So I'm just going to scoop this pulp in there. I'm not sure I did that last time. That would have been a lot easier. Just scoop it right in the dish. And really, if it's super good, we're gonna want more than more than that anyway. And leftovers, yummy. Drain that and add my cheese. My bad guys, sorry. I was half asleep at dinner time. I forgot to hit the record button. The zucchini boats that Gina made for dinner were delicious. Olivia ate them right up and man, I have some left we're gonna have some leftover for leftovers. I'm still not recouped from waking up at 1 a.m. in the morning. Whew. Doing stuff like that, I haven't done that in a long time. But I'll need a few days to get back on track so if I get a little tongue twisted in the next couple of videos please forgive me for that uh, so August 11th is the last day of the free viewing of the DIY abundance crash course that the five other of us no six youtubers have made videos for it's on homesteading know-how it's free till the 11th and then after that if you want to sign up for Justin's member area you can you're gonna be I think you get a discounted rate if you want to but if you don't 
the videos are out there no obligation There's some really good videos out there so the link will be in the description down below I'm glad I was able to get some hay feeders built today for the new goat barn that was the one thing we failed on yesterday we didn't have the feeders ready Ugh. that's all right it's done now tomorrow I'll be working on some more stuff for the goats the two mil bucks that we got those are gonna be our new breeding stocks they come from our friends out in Missouri I'll have a link to their website if you want to check out their farm but I am excited they come from some great milking lines so they're gonna be our bucks to breed and grow our herd with I can't wait it's the one thing with livestock it's more of a long game it takes a while to get your herd built up to get to perfection, I don't want to say perfect your herd, but to keep growing and getting your herd better and better. So we're getting there, guys. I'm excited. Homesteading is homesteading is a journey, not a race. I keep telling myself that constantly. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.